Right folks, I've just had a steep climb out of Cheddar. The 126 is back. Hooray for the 126. Yep, I'm out folks. I'm out where I've missed so much. And I probably haven't done this particular approach. <sighs> maybe a year and a half, maybe maybe even two years since I've done this particular approach going up. I'm not quite often I'm going down yet. Anyway, over there we've got Crook's Peak. Um, look. Over there we've got Crook's Peak. Which I have done last year a couple of times. We've got the Axbridge Reservoir. And further over we can just make out... <sighs> Brent Knoll. I've been huffing and puffing so I didn't... I hope that this is the first video that I've done and look at that sky yeah it came on the 126 it takes half an hour longer than before because it has to take in uphill round to the wharf down to the hospital then it goes to meanders in and out several little cottages and granny places then it goes to Hutton and does sort of a magical mystery tour over there once we've leave Hutton, it's straightforward, and today there was no traffic jams in Banwell. Once we got there, it was straight, straight through more or less. And it took a quarter of an hour once we once we left Banwell. And uh, but it does take half an hour longer. I think it was quarter past ten by the time I got over here. So there we go. I'm so relieved. I feel free again. I was just saying, I felt to Zara. I said, you know, I f it was my enabler, 126. And of course we all moan. I met an old woman earlier in the village of Cheddar and she told me that she felt sorry for quite a few people a couple of days ago that were caught in a storm <coughs> and they were waiting for the 126, which was half an hour late. Because the drivers have to learn the route. It's infancy days of starting up again. When I looked on the bus timetable when I got off, they want one at the bus stop. They didn't even have a timetable up. One really bad thing though is I had to use the facilities by the car park and they were disgusting. They don't look like they've cleaned for about three years. They were filthy. Fecal matter all over the place. Stank. It's really, really bad, the toilets. No toilet roll. The hand dryer didn't work. Really, really bad. I kept as far away when I had to use the toilet as possible from it. Tell the truth. Cool blood. I washed my hands though. Use my own tissues to dry them. That was the only disappointing thing about it. And the fact there isn't a proper timetable on the bus on the bus station. Whether locals because locals some locals who've got cars of course <laughs> resent the bus. For some reason they resent it. They don't really want all the lot from Weston coming over. <sighs> but many of Cheddar did want it. People without cars, teenagers, students, people wanting to go to hospital, people who just want to go to Weston to meet friends, do some shopping, and people from Weston who want to go to Wells and visit Cheddar. We were denied. For one year and three months. If not, the only way you could do it was through getting a bus to Winscombe, the Rington bus. Then you'd have to walk to Axbridge or get a taxi where you could pick up a very infrequent bus that would take you to Cheddar. Yeah. Anyway, I am struggling going up the hills. I haven't done this for a while. I don't normally do it this way because I've learnt from the past. 
<clears throat> but I'm trying to fit in a walk so that I can be back in Cheddar by half past three so that if in advance of the four, 10 to 4 bus. <coughs> Trying to remember how long it takes me to do different parts of this walk. But what's knackering me at the moment, and this is always the hardest bit of any walk I do in Cheddar, is the uphill bit, what I'm doing now. This is the hardest part of the walk. Is it? Yeah. But I partly chose it. It'll level off in a minute. I partly chose it to avoid thick mud and water. When we get up the top, we'll be able to see Glastonbury Tor. It's standing bold and majestic. Right over there through those trees. Over there we've got Piney um, Draycott's lights. All the walks I can do when it's not the season of the cow, I can now do. I won't be coming out over the weekend. They don't run the bus on a Sunday and there's a restricted service on a Saturday. But the weather's supposed to be good for about six days. So I'm hoping to come over another time and fit in one of my other type of walks. Now it won't be the walk from West Mendip to Cheddar because that takes six or seven hours. I'd have to, if I did that, I'd have to get a very early bus and that you're talking about quarter to seven in the morning. And you've got to get on with all the school kids. That's the only way I could do it if I got the really early bus. So that might be something I might have to do. No cows around you. Right, I'm going to turn off for a minute, folks. Over and out. Right, second video of my visit to Cheddar area via the 126 bus. You can see a lot of flooding on the levels, a lot of wet patches. I forgot how steep and how long it takes to get up this way, so I won't be rushing to actually come up this way again, which I never used to do much. I actually forgot how long it takes to get up from right down there up here. My styles, it could be my style just up here. I decided I'm not going to do the alley packies today. What I'm going to do, I'm going to check the time, I'm going to have a nice drink of hot water, then I'm going to gently go down the gorge and get that uh, half past two, three o'clock bus. I think that'll be enough for the first time out. Now, right over there. Let me just tread on this hump. Right, oh, you can't see it properly from there. Um, well, over there, um, over there is um, Rowborough, Rowborough Warren. I'll be getting out there more now soon. This bus actually is really good because it actually visits this other areas that I, I do and I usually have to get different buses for them. So now this bus takes me to um, Sanford where I can get into the Robert Warren. Um, it takes me to Hutton so I can get into Hutton Wood and do the walks over that way. And of course all the villages along here. Draycott, I can do Draycott Slights. I can even go to Wells and do the Wells to Cheddar Walk. Um, it's opened up this particular bus, but the most, I'm not going to say annoying because I am so grateful for this bus and it's good for the people that live in these little places that it has to go round the mulberry bush. 
all around these little granny flats and granny cottages. I'm glad it does really. But it it puts half an hour more on the time. And um But anyway, I'm grateful for having the boss, so they say it's trialed for 18 months. Hopefully they'll put more on in the summer, like so there'll be one at five o'clock. Because five o'clock is re usually my favourite time. Um, even in the winter, before it gets dark and too cold, it gives you that little extra bit. Now the fact that there's a bus at 20 past six is also good. For when I go out, when it's better weather, and I want a bit of extra. Do you see what I mean? It works to have that later bus. Right then, so here we are. I'm going to check the time now. I'm going to have a drink of hot water. That's what I've brought out. Get a bar of chocolate out or something. Then I'm just going to have a little wander down that way. But I'm not going over that way today because that needs more time and I haven't got it today. And I don't want to do it. I don't want to overdo it today. Because I'm coming back next week. But over there, guess what? In the distance, we got our famous aerials. Our aerials, landmarks. Right, so I'm going to stop now. I'm going to check the time, have a drink of water. If it's only just 12 o'clock, I'm going to have a little wander down there and look over to Black Rock, but I'm not going over there. Then I'm going to come back and very carefully walk down the gorge. Okay, I've got to allow a good hour to walk down because the conditions won't be good. Over and out.